divide a line segment of unit length randomly into two parts. Find the expected value of the product of the lengths of the two segments. Here is one way to interpret that question geometrically. Let's say we have a wall right here and another wall right here. And we choose the breakpoint as the random variable x. And so we have a piece of fencing. And the piece of fencing is total a unit length, so a length of 1, which means if this part right here is x, then this part up here is 1 minus x. Now remember, x is a random variable. And if it is the random breakpoint, then it could be anywhere between 0 and 1. So you could imagine a lot of different shapes to this region here. If x is a small number, say x is equal to 0.1, then what you'll have is you'll have a 0.1 on this side, which means you have a 0.9 on this side, and you'll have a very long, skinny uh, region. If x happens to be close to 1 half, then the shape of this region will be very close to a square. If x tends to be a large number, like 0.99, well, in that case, you'll have a very tall and skinny region here. In any case, we're interested in the expected value of the product of those two lengths. And x times 1 minus x will be the random area of this enclosed region here. So when you interpret the meaning of randomly dividing a line segment, it is not unreasonable to assume that that breakpoint x is uniformly distributed between 0 and 1. We've seen this distribution before. This is the way we kind of denote it as the uniform 0, 1 distribution. What we want is we want the expected area. And that expected area will be the expected value of x times 1 minus x. Since this is a continuous random variable, we will have an integral. And that integral will go from 0 to 1. That's the support of x. We want the expected value of x times 1 minus x. So it gets transferred here. Notice these are uppercase. These are lowercase. That gets multiplied by the probability density function 1 dx. Now what do we have here? We have x. And when that is integrated, it's x squared over 2. And then we have negative x squared. That'll give us a negative x cubed divided by 3. And those are evaluated from 0 to 1. When you plug in a 1, you get a half minus a third, which is 1 sixth. When you plug in 0, you get 0. So 1 sixth is the expected area here of that particular region. If you want to do a Monte Carlo simulation in R, one way of doing that is to set x equal to a vector of 100,000 random uniforms. And that is 100,000 realizations of this particular region. Then the second thing you can do is take those x, x values, and multiply them by 1 minus x. That's to give this. And then when you take the mean of them, that should be fairly close to 1 sixth. Now I'm going to go ahead and hide this and move to some R code. I went into the R language. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to key in that simulation. So x is equal to R unif of 100,000. And then we want the mean of x times 1 minus x. And that simulation gives us 0.1668. Now, you never run a simulation once. So let's, I use, I'm using the up arrow twice here to avoid typing these. But there's three simulations of the, uh, the mean area of that region. Notice they're all at 0.166. And in fact, 1 sixth is 0.16 repeating. So right now, we can conclude 
that the Monte Carlo simulation experiment is supporting the analytic solution we got on the other slide.